What's going on guys? Today I am here with some Destiny 2 news coming straight from the recent Edge Magazine article on Destiny 2. They tease a few juicy things definitely worth a mention. But before we go any further guys, I am giving away a Rockstar Destiny 2 exclusive in-game gear code. To win it, simply leave a thumbs up on this video and drop a comment down below. Okay, so for a while now there's been speculation on certain specifics returning. These specifics are subclasses in this instance. Now for ages we have known sometime or another there will be new subclasses brought into Destiny 2. But because it's early days at the moment, Bungie are holding back on details. Now to say new subclasses, the game's new, all subclasses are relatively new if not remade. This video is about a possible tease by Edge Magazine on the third subclasses we know for our characters returning, that being a Tether for a Hunter, a Hammers for the Titan and Tickle Fingers for the Warlock. Now Noseworthy on Twitter replied to someone asking about third subclasses due to Hunters feeling a little well a shadow of their former selves during the beta. He replied with they want to surprise people when the full game releases, basically keeping hush about certain things. Now when we first saw a Guardian's inventory we actually saw two greyed out boxes next to the subclass icon. This normally represents other subclasses. In a newer build we saw this had changed. That in my opinion was just due to them wanting to keep things a surprise like they said. It also makes sense as to why we can see our guardians pulsating that void arc and solar energy out of their hands when we're in their inventory. I think it's safe to say a third subclass will be a thing within Destiny 2. Now a recent exclusive tease coming from the Edge magazine states the following. Online, the Destiny community has focused on the apparent weaknesses. Players of the Hunter class are especially miserable, believing the character presented to them in the beta to be a shadow of its former self, lacking utility and a clear role within a team. Smith points out that one subclass path lets hunters create up to 8 super orbs for their allies using their golden gun, enough when picked up to refill every team member's entire super bar from scratch but there's more smith has asked us not to spoil it and for once we've agreed suffice to say that everything is going to be fine so there's more for us and yes for sure this could mean something completely different than subclasses but i do get that feeling that is what they are talking about here you get that feeling that these reworked subclasses from destiny 1 will be much like we already know but with a few differences now i'm pretty certain if they do return the balance changes bungie will have applied to these supers will be sufficient enough to balance certain aspects of these supers and i just cannot wait until they are revealed on screen now we are seeing a concept image of the night stalker hunter super within destiny 2 this was made by pesty who is an amazing gfx artist his twitter can be found linked within the video description do check him out out. The attention to detail here is absolutely amazing and for a while it had many people including myself fooled but it is just an amazing bit of concept art. So yes guys as weak as us hunters felt within the beta when the full game drops there will be surprises waiting for us which will revive our hopes within going forward within Destiny 2 and I just cannot wait for that. On that note, I'm going to end the video, but what do you guys think Edge were talking about if not subclasses? Let me know down below in that comment section. Thanks as always for stopping by and I will see you on that next one.